When the kids head back to school, the parents should take the opportunity to do the same. Here with reminders for maintaining our financial literacy is Taz Rajan from Bromwich and Smith. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Good morning. Thanks, Kevin. So as I said, the kids are getting set for school. It's a good time for that financial literacy reset for parents. Absolutely. You know what? Budgeting, money management, and financial literacy it was not taught to us in school. So as the kids are going back to school, it's a great time for us to school ourselves on our finances and just get back to the basics. And now a two-parter. What are the simple foundations of a budget and why should more people have one? Absolutely. So, you know, a budget can be a forecast and it's also a living present moment tool. And it's also a great way to reflect back. So as a forecast, you want to look at all the income that's coming in, all of your fixed and variable expenses and sort of make a plan for what the month is going to look like. But as a living tool, you want to reconcile that, say, at least once a week and then adjust as you need. You know, maybe you spent a little bit more on eating out than you had planned and you can scale that back. Or maybe you need to work a few extra hours to just bring that income back up and then finally at the end of the month you want to look back and you know adjust for the following month i love that term taz living tool and one of those living tool elements can be the emergency fund sometimes you want to add to it and other times you might just want to freeze it where it is but what should be in there Absolutely. I think the one thing COVID has taught us is that stuff happens and often it's outside of our control. So the best safeguard is to have an emergency fund. And, the, you know, the big question we always get at Bromwich and Smith is, how much should I have in my emergency fund? And I want to say something is better than nothing. There's lots of tips out there that say have one to three months of salary, but you know, have something that is liquid, that is available for car breakdowns, your house flooding or a medical emergency so that you can avoid getting into debt when these emergencies come up. And that might be a really good short or middle term goal to set for yourself because goal setting doesn't have to be a long term commitment or just a long term commitment. Absolutely. When it comes to your finances, you really want to have short term, medium term and long term goals. So, you know, is there a trip you want to plan? Is there a large purchase? Are you looking at kids education or maybe you're looking at what happens when you pass away and you can deal with a certified financial planner to work on that or there are tons of DIY tools. But, you know, they say if we aim for nothing, that's what we're going to hit. So you've got to set some goals for your finances and then set up a plan to achieve them. And if we wrap all this together, Taz, we reach the essay question. How do we abide by everything we've just chatted about, but still also crush any debt that we're harboring? Absolutely. You know, we're a consumer based society. Credit will always be part of our lives as Canadians, whether it's our mortgages or student loans. And I know from personal experience what a slippery slope debt can be on our mental, emotional and physical health, on our work, on our relationships. So the biggest myth is that you are alone struggling with your debt. And that's simply not true. Nearly half of all Canadians will struggle if their pay was one week late. So really, the question is, when do I reach out for help? And it's kind of like an apple tree you know they say the best time to, to plant an apple tree was 100 years ago and the next best time is now it's the same with your debt don't wait for those collection calls or for someone to garnish your wages call out for help now get that debt taken care of so that you can build your future achieve those goals we talked about get your facts know your options and take control of your financial wellness as the kids are going back to school and I love that analogy. The sooner you plant that tree, the sooner it will bear those fruits. For more information, you can head to BromwichandSmith.com or follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Taz, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Kevin. Debt Real Talk with Bromwich and Smith. Free confidential debt relief consultations.